<laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Delicious. <coughs> it is. It was going to spill everywhere. Ooh, it's giving me the shivers. I was like, um, cat litter. Remember to share, like, save all of the above, and comment. Comment. Have a have a chat with me. It all helps. Spread the ginger love. Hi and welcome to Hobby Days. Uh, because it's dry January, I thought I'd do some non-alcoholic ones. Technically, the non-alcoholic. These are all sort of 0.3 to 1 percent, or 0.5, but the classed as non-alcoholic. So, I think it's just there in at that little percentages in there for flavour. So, yeah, I've got a few to try. So, should we jump in? First up, no. Let's start with the classic, which is the Heineken. This is a classic. Everyone knows it. It's and it actually says 0% to 0.3 volume. FYI. Don't know if you can see that in any way. But yeah, so let's go in. I'm going to pour some of them out. I'm not going to pour them all out. So here we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> not really. It's a bit boring. It's a bit tasteless. It's not not fun. Not fun at all. And then we're going to try the Nanny State by Brewdog. They do good beers, so they should. A bit harder. They should do. Or should do good. Non alcoholic ones. So yeah, should we, should we pour this one out? I think we should. There we go. Looks a nice colour. Smells lush. Smells really nice. Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right, actually. I could drink them ones. What did they say the percentage of this one is? 0.5. There you go. 0.5. But that's really quite tasty. It's probably one of the best I've tried. It's still got the IPE sort of flavour. Not fully. I probably could use a bit more mosaic hops in there, I reckon. But no, I could I could drink them ones. Um then we've got the new kid on the block, Unlimited, who sent me these for free to try. And basically, this company only does these at the moment, so I don't know if they're going to expand and all that sort of stuff. But this one is a 0.5. So, yeah. And apparently, it's the best ever non-alcoholic beer on the market. I'll be the judge of that. Right. Here we go. It looks a little hoppy, doesn't it? It's low ABC. Didn't smell. Didn't smell the greatest. No, it doesn't. Doesn't smell nice at all. But neither does real ale, and that's I like real ale so. It's okay. It's got a strange aftertaste. Let me have a little swig of water. And then have another swig. Mm. If I'm honest, I'm not a fan of it. It just... It tastes a bit too watery. I'm very sorry, but yeah, I'm not a fan of it. So, next, should we do the Super Bark, which is Portuguese. This is Negra, sin alcohol. And this one is... Does it say how many? How many? Oh, there would have been a reason I got... Oh, there you go. 0.5%. The thing with non-alcoholic beers is so gassy. 
0.5%. Right, let's go in. Oh, it's a dark one. Well, it would be negative, isn't it? It means black. Oh, it smells like um, cat litter. No, the cat litter trees. That's what it smells like. Oh. Tastes quite good, though. Really nice, that. Yeah. I think it's because it's a bit dark and it's a bit stouty. That's actually really quite nice, yeah. That one will be finished. That's really nice. Well done. Super box. Right, now what? Ooh. Uh, we've got two vice beers, basically. So let's go with the Micelle Weiss, which is, I think, German. I think it's German, yeah. Yeah. And this one's 0.5, well, 0.55 and below. So, yeah. Oh. Looks a nice colour. Look at that. That's lovely. Really nice. Smells lovely. Smells uh, like bananas. Quite bananary. Mmm. Yeah, that's lovely. That's really nice. It's really smooth. Quite vicey. Mmm, that's really nice. That's probably better than the Nanny State. That is lovely. I would recommend that one, people. If you're drinking non-alcoholic beers, really nice. Really nice. Well, right. I'm quickly going to go and uh, wash this out. I'll be back. Hello, I'm back. Right, so let's go in. We've got another vice beer. So go and buy the last vice beer. Really good. Let's go in. How, long, how much is this one? No five five and below. Maybe the Germans are onto something. They do know how to brew beer, though, don't they? they? Always have done, really. Quite lagery. A little bit of ice. Okay. Doesn't smell as nice as the other uh, the, the Meisel ice. But at that. When I was first getting into beers, this was one of my favourites, but they're not the an alcoholic version because it was like quite fruity and banana. Banana it was quite nice. Anyway, let's go in. Yeah, that's nice. It's a bit similar to the the Nanny State one, and a bit similar to the Heineken. But at the minute, this is outright winner so far. Wow! But this one. Not too bad, not too bad. It's a bit gassy, but yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. So yeah. And now we've got two more left. We've got Asda's, I mean, not Asda. There are other supermarkets. Uh, this one is Carlsgel, which is basically um, the Aldi brand. And then we've got this one as well. So. Let's let's do the Carl's cow. I won't be pouring these ones in. <coughs> it just it was gonna spill everywhere. Mmm. That's really nice. That one's really nice. And this one's got oh no point eight. It's probably why it's got a bit more flavour. Still a bit watery though. Not bad though, not bad. It's better than Heideken one, I've got to say. Uh, yes, and then this one's 0.5%. Taste for life. This is Klaus Thaler, the German pioneer apparently. Superior taste, crisp and fresh. I'll be the judge of that. It's 
bit strange. It's giving me the shivers. It's it sort of wants to be lemony, but it's not. If that makes sense. So it tastes like, do you know when you walk past a pub and you smell like the cellar door? It tastes like that cellar door smell, which isn't great. But um, yeah, that's what, again, very gacy. Oh. Yeah, no point. Four nine, sorry, that was the, that's how big it is. Oh God, that is gassy. Well, that's not too bad. Not massive bad, if I'm honest. I'm basically putting the ones down there that I'm not into. But for me, this is a massive winner. Massive winner. So good. So nice. And below 0.5% alcohol in it. So it's allowed. And then the Nanny State. And then probably the Superbock after that. That one, the Superbock. And then probably this one, the Frank Franciscana, Franciscana, maybe. And then the Carskell, Carskell one. But yeah, that that surprised me. I can't get over how re nice that is. Delicious. Yes, well. Good luck with dry January. I'll be back with more episodes of Alcoholic Beer soon. Right. Hobby days.